So I just want to warn you that I'm probably going to be really awkward in this video because I'm about to film in a grocery store and there are people everywhere, especially out here because it's a Friday afternoon and yeah, everyone's out. So just warning for the awkwardness. The store is called Monoprix and it's a lot like Target. It has like everything. something that I've never really seen in the States. It's like pre-sliced bread, or not sliced, it's all sliced, but um, it doesn't have crust on it. So you can buy it without crust for all those picky eaters. American burger sauce. Like, what is that? I should probably look at what it says. American burger sauce. Mm, eggs, mustard. I don't even know. And it looks like almost, um, sort of like chick-fil-a sauce or even like the, the sauce they have at freddy's and at canes so maybe that's what it is i can't really get it to try it because i'm allergic to a lot of things and i'm pretty sure that has milk in it but um i just thought that was so interesting like american burger sauce is that what they think of when they think of what we eat on our burgers massive cheese section obviously because it's france so there's like unlimited amounts of cheeses different ones the dairy section so tons of milk tons of butter which I can't eat any of that so never come to this section but I'll show you kind of what it looks like here's the milk milk cartons and things it's like really the only variety of soda obviously they have a ton here there's like one Pepsi one or two three Pepsis then there's some Sprite over here but the majority of it is just coke. I was at um, a dinner at someone's home the other day. They asked me if I wanted coke and they were like, coke is very American, do you want it? And I was like, sure. It tasted a little different though. It was like, I don't even know how to explain it. It was very, very sweet, but like a different kind of sweet. So I don't know how to explain that. Orangina is like extremely popular. Everyone has it, like every restaurant, every everything has it. We might have it in the States, but I'm not really sure about that. And wow, my face is so red, oh my gosh. That's because I'm a bit embarrassed talking in the aisles of grocery stores to my phone. It's been awkwardly like walking around this aisle because there are so many people in this aisle because this is the the cookie aisle, the wafer aisle, all the like bread and then the jam and stuff like that. So literally everyone's here because all those things are so French. Here they have little kind of bread cracker things. Um, there are more up there because they eat a ton of like jam and Nutella and cheese. They put everything on bread, honestly. Like, if you come to France, just be so prepared to eat bread all the time because, uh, yeah, every single meal. It may have sounded like I was complaining about bread being at literally every single meal, but I am not, believe me. I love bread, love the carbs, love all the wheat. Yeah, I'm very happy about it. Recently realized that Oreos are dairy free and I am just eternally grateful for that, honestly, because I can't eat a lot of cookies or sweets, but these I can just absolutely, uh, I can just destroy a whole package of Oreos, and that is just amazing, and I've been eating them a lot. I had them today at school from the vending machines. They literally eat all the peanut butter they have. Like, this is all of it. Just those tiny little things of it. When I was in high school and stuff, so two or three years ago, I was always told that you can't find peanut butter anywhere in France. Like, it's just not a thing that they eat. Um, but I guess they've evolved and have gotten it, but it's a very, very little supply. So that's really funny compared to the US. We have like tons of different brands. The jam and jelly section, there's literally so much and there's any possible flavor you could want. There's rhubarb, strawberry, peach, blueberry, um, you can get orange, jam, apricot, yeah, pretty much any single fruit you're looking for, you can get it in a jam. Except grape. So I was here trying to get um, supplies and stuff for a peanut butter and jelly. Found the peanut butter, which was pretty life-changing that it was here, and then couldn't find the grape jelly. I literally looked the entire whole section, couldn't find grape, but I could get any other fruit I wanted, but not grape jelly. So I guess that's a really American thing. I was eating my peanut butter and jelly for dinner and the girl who's staying with me, that's Norwegian, she was like, I've never seen peanut butter and jelly together. Like we eat it all separate. And I was like, what? So I guess that's an American thing too. I'm learning all about myself and my culture. There's a ton of Nutella and just hazelnut and chocolate spreads um, because those are huge things here too. Put it on all those bread and all those wafers. Classic baguette section of all the fresh bread that's cooked every single day. 
So these are kind of the things that you see when you think of France, like the little boy on his bike with the baguette on the back of it. Um, I had to move this video really slow so that I could talk over it, but it is true that a lot of French people go and buy a new baguette every day. Um, my host dad always does it. He will come and give it to me for breakfast. Um, so they go like kind of right when the bakery opens, get the baguette, and then that's what they eat for the day. And then it's kind of repeated either each day or every other day. They go get a new um, loaf of bread. This I'll check out because I only have three items. Yay. <laughs> You pay for bags here if you want them. So I always just bring my backpack so I don't have to pay. I'm out of the grocery store. I didn't want to film any more in there any more than I had to because it's just so awkward when you're talking to the phone while a person is like right next to you or walking by and someone is right now actually. <laughs> oh, I'm just so awkward and I can't handle it. Another person just looked at me, oh my god. I'm gonna show you some of the farmer's market that I went by today, because that's just staying with the grocery food theme. So I wanted to show you this farmer's market that is outside, um, it's on my street, every single Friday morning from like eight to one, I think. And they sell all kinds of things, fruits, vegetables, breads, meats, jams, flowers. Um, there are even some people who sell clothes and just little, like twinky dink things, I don't know, like just little fun things, um, books, literally everything. And it's there every single uh, Friday. And a lot of people go there to get like their fresh, fresh produce because it's from really good sellers and stuff. So that's something that people look forward to every, every Friday and it's really cool. wanted to say that at that little farmer's market they allow you to take samples and um, test foods and stuff so when I was walking by I was just walking to school walking by it um, he said il y a des clementines à goûter and that means like here are some clementines that you can taste um, I didn't take any because I'm just going to school but yeah um, that's why it's a little different than the grocery store because people can taste and, and try all these fruits and these vegetables and meats and things like that at the grocery store. You know, they have some samples and stuff, but not a ton. So that's why people like it, I think. So I'm finally home today. Uh, I had three classes today, not three classes. I had three hours of the same class. So that was really long. Um, it was communication and I'm really sweaty because like I was saying in the last video, I walk everywhere and that just gets me sweating. So I'm looking pretty rough right now, but Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it wasn't too long and I hope I wasn't too awkward. I definitely know I was at points, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, I hope it wasn't too long. I wanted to show you guys a lot of cool things in the grocery store and just the differences and, and whatnot. And yeah, so there will definitely be, definitely be more videos coming soon. Probably again next week. I am aiming to kind of do one every single week. So be on the lookout for that and thanks for watching. See you soon.